Good evening everyone, Nigon here from Nigon's Electronic Creations and I'm going to be doing a series of videos here of uh, features of Igniter and each of these videos will spotlight one of the features of Igniter, maybe Spark Color 2, probably not Spark, um, but just to, because right now all the features like description are sort of only through the release videos and or just people using the sabers, these are going to be more about sort of like tutorials. Uh, for people that are on the fence about buying, they don't know what the features are, or people that have the Sabre and are a little confused how to use it, these videos will serve them both. Alright, so let's start today. Uh, the first feature we're going to go over is specifically for the Sabre apps, um, and I'm going to go over the uh, Igniter Color Editor, This uh, and the next video I can do, I'll do the Spark Color Set Editor. They're similar, uh, but different. So let's do the Igniter Color Editor first. Um, so as always, to get it, this is uh, booted, I had already pulled the kill key. So this is, you know, booted, so like I can turn it on. So I'm going to turn it off here. Um, and this is just the default configuration in here. Uh, I wanted to use that so it's easy to see what's going on. Uh, so now to go into the Sabre apps, what you do is you hold the Sabre straight down like this. Uh, and then you just hold the aux button with the Sabre pointing down. Uh, I just slipped and so now I just switched fonts. Let me do it again. Okay, so then you'll hear the Sabre apps. Uh, so once you hear Sabre apps, the Sabre is ready uh, to flip through the apps. So you just put tap the aux button to switch to the apps. Color editor. So we hear color editor, that's the one we're going to go over today. Uh, so now we'll press the main button to get into that mode. So now we're in the color editor with it and we can edit this first font. Uh, but let's say I want to edit, uh, this is Igniter, so we're editing colors for specific fonts because that's the way Igniter works. So let me go to, say, maybe like the third or fourth font. So let's edit the colors for this. So we have a blue main blade, um, and so like right now, if I push the aux button, it'll increase, and since it was already at 255, it went to zero. So now I have no colors, because obviously blue was the only thing I had on. So let's hold the aux. Now it's a decreasing. Now I'm back to 255. Um, now to switch the color, you do the dual phase motion. So now I'm editing the green color. So now let's start increasing this a little. Let's, uh, well, I'm going, I'm decreasing. So now it went all the way to 255. So let's keep decreasing. So tapping will decrease. Now that I'm on decreasing, I can hold the aux again. It'll go back. To, it'll increase again. So that's good. It's like a little bit more bright, uh, bright blue. Let's say let's uh, use that. So now I want to, but that's just the blade color. Let's say I want to edit maybe like the dual face color too. So I can hold the aux and do a, a swing, and that'll go to the next uh, thing. So that's the clash color. I don't want to edit that. I say I'm fine with that. Blaster block. Blaster blocks like purple. I'm fine with that. Let's go to dual phase. Whoops. Uh, dual phase is sort of a purple. Um, maybe it's. Maybe let's go like a little more red even. So let's uh, go to the red. It's green. So that's decreasing. Let's go back to increasing. There we go. So it should be getting like it's a little more pink now. I don't know how it looks on camera. It's yeah. It looks kind of pinkish. Hard to tell. I have the lights on too, because I don't want to. I want to be able to see what I'm doing right now. Uh, but that's you know pretty much it. So let's say we're we're happy. So now I can hold the aux, the main button, turn it off. <clears throat> now these colors are saved. Now, so for any app, uh, now you're you're still in the app now. To get back to the uh, main saver, you can either put in the kill key or you can turn it straight down and hold the aux button. Saber apps. And now I'm back in the apps menu, and one of the apps is just Igniter. Color and motion saver says spark spark igniter. So there's Igniter. So now if I push the main button, I'll boot in that. So now I'm back in Igniter. So let's go to the, uh, you know, you can see the first font is still green. Whoops, I forgot this is, I didn't set the button correctly on this. This is a latching switch, but I have, I have it acting like a momentary. 
Where's the essence? So here's the one we have to did. So we can see now we got the lighter blue and the dual phase we should have like a little bit more pinkish purple. Yeah, we do. And so that's how you can uh, use the color editor. Of course, you know, I just edited a small bit to fit in the time of camera. Obviously, you can sit there and edit every single color, completely change the blade color with this clash color. You can change every single color. Uh, so that's the first part. This is the, um, the app, the color editor app for Igniter.